Hey guys, so I'm back over visiting my friends at Bernard Watch and they got a, a new brand coming in. Uh, they're going to start retailing and I wanted to kind of give a little heads up about it. Um, this is Graham and Graham is something I've kind of, you know, been keenly aware of in the back of my brain for probably the last 15 years or so, but really have never known much about. Uh, UK based company. Uh, one of the things they're really known for is this kind of trigger style uh, piece over here, you know, much as the Luminor from Panerai has a very specific crown guard. Uh, this year, as you'll see, actually has multi-purpose functions, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, but it's very much their hallmark and it's super, super cool. You know, nowadays we see so many Me Too copycat watches, they all kind of look the same. They all have the same movements. They all do the same thing. Um, it's really cool when you see something that is very unique and very different. And Graham is one of those companies that you get that kind of uniqueness, but you also aren't paying a fortune for it. Uh, the watch I'm showing to you right now, uh, Bernard's going to retail for a little bit over $2,000. And when I show you guys what this thing does, and I actually have a couple other pieces as well, I can show you another. Uh, I think you're going to agree with me that the value of proposition on this guy is pretty strong. Um, so just kind of give you a sense of it. It is using a, a Valju 7750 movement. You can see the rotor back in there. Um, beautiful little engraving on the back of the case back. You know, these days it's so easy for people just to throw in a generic case back. Even Rolex does that. but here to see something engraved is always a nice touch. Um, but this isn't a traditional 7750 if you're familiar with the layout. And uh, you guys are probably wondering what this thing does. Well, it actually is a chronograph. It's a 30 minute chronograph. And how you use it is kind of interesting. So over here, the crown is at nine o'clock, which the first thing is you're probably gonna notice is that's an interesting place for it, right? Typically we see that over here at three. But uh, first position is winding. Just gotta pull it out one more position. Second position will change the date. Third position, we'll set the tans here. Go ahead and move these. I love these uh, vintage style hands here, very classical. But the piece that really makes this thing interesting is this little trigger here and what it actually does. So I mentioned this thing is based off of a 7750. Some of you guys may imagine what this could potentially do. If you guess that it starts a chronograph, you'd be right. So if you just push it in like that, you'll see that uh, the chronograph second hand has started to tick away here. And as it will do each individual rotation, it'll of course kick off a minute down here up to 30 minutes totalized down here at six o'clock. And to stop it, you press the trigger again and it stops. And to reset is up here at 10 o'clock. And uh, I've never seen that before. That's a pretty unique way of modifying a 7750. This trigger over here is really kind of cool. And I know a lot of you guys that are into watches are into watches because you love mechanical things. You like playing with uh, gears and grease and fun stuff. And there is a really satisfying mechanical feel to the way that this actuates the chronograph. Um, I think you guys would really, really enjoy it. You can also see as I rotate it that there is a nice anti-magnetic, or not anti-magnetic, excuse me. There is a nice anti-reflective coating there as well. They have a couple other grams in stock. Let me grab another one. It might be of interest here. You know, this thing's kind of unique. Uh, you know, nowadays we see a lot of companies uh, going for these skeletonized movements, and I think a lot of them are kind of garish and not really my taste. I'm not a huge fan of Hublot um, and some of the other ones, that, like Richard Meal, that I feel just aren't my taste. Um, but here, again, you have another interpretation of a 7750. Um, as you can see on the case back here, um, it's a 7750 base, but the amount of detail they've done to modify it is quite impressive. I mean, even the rotor there, you can tell has had a nice job on it. Uh, the movement is finished extremely well. There's a lot of contrasting uh, surfaces on there. Uh, the case back is really well machined and the different layers of the dial too is very beautiful. Um, you know, it's amazing how many watches these days just take a 7750, basically leave it in standard configuration and don't really bother to do anything special with it. But here, I mean, they've completely skeletonized the movement. They moved all the dials around. I mean, the seconds is still over at nine as you would expect, but the way the 30 minute totalizer is set up with its, uh, its bigger size, the way they've kind of proportioned the different bits of the dial and skeletonized it in just such a way, it's definitely a unique take. And because it's a 7750, it's gonna be as reliable as you would expect, but uh, again, they've really done something special with it. Um, you can start it in the traditional fashion up here at about two o'clock. You can see the second hand here starting to tick. I appreciate uh, obviously that it's kind of a shiny piece. So we're getting a little bit of uh, the anti-reflective kicking off here. Sorry about the glare. Uh, you can stop it as well and reset it down here traditional way as you would on a 7750. So again, this will have a 30 second totalizer or 30 minute totalizer running. Um, there's a nice little uh, recessed crown here. 
has a beautiful action to it. I'm winding it as we speak right now. Uh, of course, the balance wheel is uh, right up here between 10 and 11. Nice little heartbeat of the watch. I, I do actually appreciate open heart watches, and I think putting it up here between 10 and 11 is kind of unique. You typically see it down here at about 6 o'clock. So another interesting piece from Graham. Again, Bernard's going to start uh, selling these in the future. And something they were telling me, too, about Graham that I wasn't really familiar with is that uh, if you actually can have custom dials done for them, I guess up to about 25 dials or more, you can actually do some unique custom dials from Graham. So something kind of cool about these smaller manufacturers is, again, you get something kind of different. They're not just taking a 7750. They're doing something kind of cool with it. And there's just, you know, that little bit of a special boutique factor that you don't really get from some of the bigger brands that tend to use these movements more in generic design. So again, another brand I wasn't overly familiar with. Kind of cool to come here and check it out again. If you uh, have any interest in uh, Graham watches, again, check out BernardWatch.com. Um, they definitely start off at pretty reasonable prices. Again, this watch here is about two grand. And considering the unique trigger action and the dial layout and the overall finish, it definitely represents a solid value. And uh, again, they have the whole gamut from really sporty, kind of avant-garde to, again, very classical. So thanks again, guys, for checking out this video. And again, check up on our watch.com for more information on these two particular pieces. And with all that said, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and jump back. So there you go, guys. There's kind of Graham watches in a nutshell. Um, I think they're kind of cool. I ignored them, as I mentioned. And you know what? They actually have some cool features for the price point. And I, I could definitely see myself rocking one of these at some point. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please click the bell icon so you guys can keep track of my future videos. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know below, guys. Would you pick up one of these Graham watches, or do you need something that has more of a storied brand name behind it? Customary wristwatch check. Rolex GMT Master Pre Ceramic 16710. I won't kiss it. Every time I kiss my watches, you guys get creeped out by it. By the way, thank you guys again so much for checking out my other channel, my motivational speaking channel. I really, really appreciate it. Got a lot of great feedback. Just posted another video up there about the power of focus and the importance of focus and creating the life that you want. And uh, please go check that out if you haven't already. Really appreciate the support on that channel. And I'll leave a link to it somewhere around here. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. More watch content coming right where this one came from. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you guys real soon.